Welcome back guys to Pokemon Y as we start to find our way around the post game having came to Kalud Town. We wonder exactly what else there is to do apart from the friend Safari in the Battle Maison run by four fabulous sisters stands in front of us so let's go check it out eh? We have to also go get ourselves a poker radar as well by the sound of it. Alright then. I'm gonna win 100 times in a row in the Battle Maison but I'm not very good yet so win 100 times in a row in my place okay? Okay, but what does it do? What is this place? I have to explain. Someone, please! When you exchange friend codes with many different people, many different helpers come to battle with you in multi-battles. Okay, these are all about multi-battles. Hello, welcome to the Exchange Service Corner. Would you like to trade in your BP for some fabulous prizes? I don't have any. But I can have a look anyway, so what is there? TMs here? What else? Just TMs? Seems to be... Lots of moves there, like Dream Eater and stuff. Vault Switch, after making his attack, the user rushes back to switch plays with a party Pokemon in waiting. Sounds kind of cool to me. Still, someone explain! Someone explain! Alright, welcome to the Exchange Service Corner. More BP for prizes. Protein, calciums, a lot of those kind of things. Braces, lenses, reduces speed, but allows the holder's special attack stat to grow more after battling. Weird stuff, but still... It will restore any lower stat in battle, it can be used only once. Special herbs. Red card. When the holder is hit by an attack, the attacker is removed from battle. Sounds kind of cool to me. If the holder is hit by an attack, it will be switched out of battle. Weird. Lots of interesting, like, little things here. It loves by a, it's loved by a certain Pokemon, the Magmarizer. Upgrade, produced by Silphco. So these seem to be some evolution-y kind of things as well. well. There is a lot of prizes on offer here, but at the cost of some HP on each hit, boost the power of moves. Wow, lots of stuff. Ability Capsule. A capsule allows a Pokemon with two abilities to switch between these abilities when it is used. Oh. What weirdness. Still, I guess we have to head inside to find out what's really going on here. Is there some kind of casino slash restaurant? Have you already met the four battle chatelans? What? Oh, I don't know how to pronounce that one. They're the owners of the battle maison. They're four strong yet elegant sisters. If you keep winning in battle, they appear in front of you. My favorite chatelan is, of course, the first daughter, Mademoiselle Morgan, who specializes in rotation battles. No one else. The minute you see her, I guarantee that you'll feel the same way. Well, I, I'm still wondering what on earth is going on. Someone tell me. I'm keeping records in the battle maison. Do you want to see your results? No, because I'm pretty sure it's going to be along the lines of 0, 0, 0. So let's keep heading upwards, and I guess through this door for now? Or no, this door is not accessible. Onto the balcony? No. I do sky battles only. If there were no roof, I could take on the challenges too. I'm, so, what? I'm sure the Pokemon could fly in here. Perfect combinations between strong trainers and Pokemon. Pokemon battles here are serious battles. Well, I, I, I guess that, but... Don't you understand? I'm kind of looking for the way to access the battle right now, but we have tons of presents appearing. I honestly can't go through that door either. Hmm. The confusion of post-game. That's for sure. Who are you? Uh, do you want me to restore your Pokemon's health? Listen, as you can see, I'm taking a day off today. Once I leave the Pokemon Center, I'm an ordinary girl, okay? I'm quite stressed out from work. Today, I'm letting the stress out by watching battles. When I go back to work, I'll do my job, so please leave me alone today, okay? Sorry, Nurse whatever one you are. I'm guessing they're not Nurse Joyce as well. Will we start here then? Welcome to the Battle Maison, I'm the receptionist. Aha! What would you like to do today? I thought you were just going to help me change my Pokemon. Right then, challenge info, change music. What would you like to hear about? The Battle Maison, of course. This Battle Maison provides various battles with many trainers. You can choose from the following battle formats, single, double, triple, rotation, or modal battles. They keep battling until you lose, and keep compete based on how many people you're going to defeat. Please note that if you lose even once, your winning streak will end, and you'll start from zero again. Every time you defeat a trainer, we'll give you points called BP. You'll earn more BP as you keep winning, so do your best. What would you like to hear about? Well, I guess we go for it. Still, oh no, I've really heard about that. I'm just wondering about the rules now. Ah, I thought this was the rules as well. Okay, what would I like to hear about? Please note the following three points when you battle in the battle maze on. First way you participate in battles here, Pokemon at levels higher than 50 will be reduced temporarily to level 50, okay. Please note the number of Pokemon you need for a challenge. You need three Pokemon for single battles, four Pokemon for double battles, six Pokemon for dual battles, and four Pokemon for rotation battles. For multi battles, each trainer needs two Pokemon. Third and lastly, all Pokemon and their items should be different. 
If Moldy Bowser is okay for two players to have the same Pokemon or item, what would you like to hear about? I guess we get to it. Shall I do like a triple battle? I don't know. We'll go triple. Just for funsies. It might result in me getting horribly mashed. Still. Form a tag team of friend or acquaintance balances. That sounds fun to me. We're going to participate in a triple battle. Do you not have six eligible Pokemon to participate? Don't tell me. It's because I've got a legendary? Oh, wait a second. No, no, it's because I've got a legendary then. Okay, we'll take part in a double battle challenge. Does it mean that it really can't be chosen? Banned it is indeed. Legendary is not allowed. Well, for that, then we'll enter Greninja, Venusaur, Lucario, and Gardevoir. What kind of thing should I do here in terms of what person I should put out first or second? Hmm, okay, well, withdraw you, withdraw you. Yeah, make you second. Lucario and you could be third and fourth. And we'll keep going. I guess... No, 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 we're, we're fine, we're fine, we can keep going. Oh, what do you have to say to get going? Man... Right, I guess that might be because it's would also be online battles, if anything. Still, you would like to try the double battle challenge, yes. Let me get started, pe person. You're just messing with my mind. You're messing with my mind. Right then. That should be fine. Okay, confirm. And then we do have to save. She just said you'll have to save to continue would be a better wording for that moment. Alright, let the consecutive double battle challenge begin! Grumble, grumble, okay. Is that all he's gonna say? Fine. You were challenged by schoolgirl Eloise. Oh, I said he. Sorry. Shinks and drowsy. Some interesting choices in the Pokemon there, I'm sure. And our Pokemon are all evolved up, ready to go. Alright then, so, I think personally Drowsy is a Psychic type, so Night Slash will do really quite well on you. In the meantime, however, we'll go for the Shinx with that. I was expecting a complete KO. Alright then, I wonder if I get experience in this kind of battle as well, but still, I guess you can't really level up when you're being reduced to level 50. Cricketune is coming out next. And a skip loom. So the question comes is what work what will work best on these guys now? Hmm. Well I can always go extra sensory on you. Well, I think we should try to take one out, don't you? Taking one out over the other might work quite well. Dunspore was avoided. But Gardevoir taking a hit like that is not what I ever want to see. Alright, Cricketune's out. Which just leaves you left, Skiploom, and you probably are super effective against me. Luckily, you didn't go for the attack or anything. Which means I get to stick around and be nice and safe. Dunspore is not so good. I'm hoping, however, Greninja will can shake it off. There goes down Skiploom. Was that one trainer defeated? Right. Oh, was that it? Yeah, it was. I guess I don't get healed up in between battles either. I do? Okay, then. We received one BP. Next is battle number two. Would you like to keep battling? We'll continue just because I want to see if I actually did get healed up and that tone was me getting healed. Let's have a fun Pokemon battle indeed, my dear. Hello, Las Vivian. All right then, Poliwag and Pidgey are coming out. My two strong evolved Pokemon. We'll face you no problem. We gained Water Absorb. Okay, so if I were to use Surf, I would absorb the water now, which is kind of handy, to be honest. 
Hmm, that was kind of a nice skill to get hold of, wasn't it? And I am completely healed up, which I was wondering if I would have to use... I may as well use Dazzling Gleam, go for both. In case my attacks don't really finish it off. Critical hit, how dare you? I was wondering if I would have to try and keep my HP up using Hypnosis and Dreamier. But no, not required. In fact, with the unevolved versions of these Pokemon, the ones being that we're facing, it's not really that hard for us to fight them. A Mariel and a Geodude, so to test the theory, Surf should hit Gardevoir as well, but with Water Absorb also given to us, shouldn't we take them out no problem? It doesn't affect Gardevoir. That's what I wanted to hear. Well, we kind of gained ourselves an interesting ability thanks to Gardevoir there. This is why we follow up with a dazzling gleam, of course. Take out that Mariel. That was a pretty amazingly fun. You've totally exhausted me. So I wonder if I get a singular battle point or if I get two battle points for winning a second battle. Oh no, it's just a singular battle point. It makes you wonder when, how many battles you have to face before they start really ramping up. Are you going to pick on me? Well, not intentionally. You're here to battle and I'm here to battle. I'd rather not look at it in that way. Preschooler Caroline. A Froakie and a Geodude. Oh look, you're an evolved version. Isn't it cute? Still, we've gained Froakie's Protean ability. Which should mean that my typing changes to whatever move I use. Which, at this point, if you know what I mean, is kind of confusing. Because, to be honest, I only have moves of my typings anyway. So that makes not much sense in my brain, but we'll just use Dazzling Gleam, because it should take him out regardless. Being healed up every time, I wonder if the further we get into the battles, the more evolved Pokemon we'll face, the harder Pokemon we'll face, or if... There's some kind of other trick to it, apart from the confusion like that, it's something I don't like. Maybe I'll become the confused type Pokemon now. I hope I don't, but Pidgey comes out next. Right, I should be able to take you down without any issue whatsoever. Question comes as to what to go for, really. Ah! Dazzling Gleam after all hits both. It's kind of moves like that we want to use. Take out the opposing Froakie, no more Protean. I don't think personally we'll even get to use the move. I'm confused with low accuracy. I transformed into the fairy type, but then I already was. And my attack didn't even work? Which just makes me want to go full out. I'll hit Guard of War and hurt her, but. I aim to also, you know, uh... Battle's taking longer than it should do, that's for sure! And Gardevoir might get knocked out by my lead. <laughs> Don't do it! Oh my goodness, critical hit on Gardevoir, of course! And the confusion might finish no Dazzling Gleam used! Gardevoir hangs in there! You. It was a good choice, I guess, but you did pick on me after all, but I like you because you're strong. No, I didn't pick on you at all. You engaged in a battle. It was a, it was, you, you asked for it. That's what I'm saying. So after every battle, we get healed up and we still receive one BP. So I'm guessing later on we get more kind of battles going on. But I'm going to interrupt this for now. Would you like to interrupt your challenge? I would indeed. We have no problem going on with that. Saving, please wait again. We hope to see you again. Right, so that's the bit on Maison then. We earned BP so we can get ourselves some cool, nice items. Doesn't seem like there's much rewards in terms of monetary gains or experience apart from that. So that's a bit meh. Indeed it is. So Clute City, is there really nothing else to go in it apart from, like, dressing up for you? And I need some sneakers and a brightly coloured hat. And someone has appeared! Hey, Ollis! Will you have a battle with me? I think you're in for a surprise! Sure! 
My Pokemon Online will show you what makes us special. Have you leveled up your Pokemon a fair bit? Well, the rival battle again. Pokemon Trainer Serena is coming. We'll face her Meowstic first. Hey, look! I didn't have Gardevoir out as the first Pokemon for once. We can break you down without any issue. This Night Slash will work for us. Okay, thank you for the speed power, though I'm pretty sure I'm fast enough to go for it anyway. Oh! Oh no, I, I dodged the move. Oh, good, good, good. Right then. Super effective, knew you could do it, but we didn't take it out all the same. That's no good for us. We'll do it second time, Lucky. Meowstick has fainted. Right then, next Pokemon here. Though I do get experience in this battle as well. I forgot the experience happened in Battle Tanks to Battle Maze on. Minasaur grows to level 74? And Clefable is out next. So that is a fairy type. It's strong in general against those. <laughs> of course we know the answer to that. Do you think one Venus Shock will do it? Need to teach Venus all toxic! Do you think one Venus Shock will do the job? New Pokemon! Man, I forgot Clefable was so big! Well, all the same, go! The Fable's level 68, so these Pokemon are... I'm sure very capable of taking on and taking out my ones, to be honest. Such strong levels. Well, all the same, we know exactly kind of what to do against certain types. Anyway, if we can guess the typing. Super effective, Yvette will grow to level 67. Who's out next then? About to send him for Porion. Will you switch your Pokemon? Why would I do that? For I have a typing win right here. Petal Blizzard, go! Farewell, Vaporeon. That was not the right Pokemon to send out then, I'm sure, madam. You could have done better with your choicing. Okay, about to send in an Altaria next. Will you switch your Pokemon? Hmm. Now, what's great against you? Well, Auroros, we like to see you in battle, that's for sure. Just for your entry scream. Plus, I actually have some idea of which Pokemon is coming out this time. Oh, I should use Blizzard! But surely Ice Beam will be good enough anyway. I apologize, you've been knocked out in two seconds' time. Next one on your list, about to send in Chestnut. Of course, we know to switch in for that one. Four times effective Eveltal with flying type moves. Let's take you out, Chestnut. Oh, Dark Aura is being radiated, of course. Fly will be our move of choice for this one. Use Brick Break, but there's no breaks to break. Plus, I'm not a brick anyway. Poor Chestnut. Level 70, though. You could have become Pokemon Champion before me, I'm sure. You should have continued on down Victory Road. We could have had a final battle, our final reckoning. But God of our grew to level 75 and is about to send in an Absol. Will you switch your Pokemon? We will. Dark type Absol will take you on with Lucario, of course. Right then, send it out. Should we go out with this battle with a big bang, if you know what I mean? Close combat mega evolution? Get to work on that mega ring, that thing you just don't have, my dear. I like to taunt you, that's for sure. Go to work, Lucario. Close combat, go! Or not. Where did you get hold of a Mega Ring, my dear? Absol? Mega Evolved, though I still think with my typing win here, the two Mega Evolved Pokemon will fight for a one-hit KO. Well, 
my dear, when did you get that? I'll think about what you did well and use this loss to make me better, I'm sure. Your level Pokemon keeps going up as well. You'd be a fairly nice battle, to be honest. Wallace, this is for you. We obtain an Absolite. So now we can Mega Evolve an Absolite. And that's right, I found two Absolite. I wanted to share one with you. Maybe it will help show Lysandry there's something to be hopeful for. Maybe it will. I have a message from Professor Sycamore. He says he may have unraveled part of the secret of the Mega Ring and the Mega Stones. He should be waiting by the Sundial in Anastar City. Okay then, it seems we have ourselves a new destination to head to, as well as a ton of new cool stuff. Wow, feeding them that kind of cake gets you some really nice stuff after all. Water wallpapers and everything. Well, join me next episode of Pokemon Y as we find out what Professor Sigmore's up for. Go after the Poker Radar, I'm sure. And try to get involved in this extra storyline. I'll see you then. Bye-bye.